Getting back to the classroom, another school district is making moves to return to in person learning. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Lynn Bowie. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, last night, the Anne Arundel County School Board approved a hybrid learning plan. That means that some students could be back in school before March the 1st. WJZ is live. Avajari Burnett has more on that plan as other counties continue weighing the pros and cons of opening their school doors. Avajoy. Good afternoon, ladies. Well, Anne Arundel County plans to bring students back into the classroom in phases, but a big part of this hinges on the possibility of teachers being able to get that vaccine. In just a matter of weeks, some students in Anne Arundel County will have the option to go back into a classroom. Last night, the school board approved a hybrid learning plan for, quote, as many students as possible. With teachers being moved towards the front of the line to get vaccinated, the union president is optimistic, but there's still concerns. We don't want a, a situation where we open, but then you know, numbers skyrocket again, um, and then we have to close back up. Baltimore City also has plans to start expanding in person learning by mid February. School CEO Dr. Sonia Santelisis says this is necessary, especially since about 60% of freshmen are failing a class. This is not just impact for this year's ninth graders, it's impact uh, for the next four years. Carroll County resumed hybrid learning earlier in the month, but days later, reports that 118 staff members are quarantining because they may have been exposed in their community or they're showing symptoms of COVID-19. Howard County is eyeing a possible hybrid model for the fourth quarter, which begins mid-April. Baltimore and Harford counties are still in a virtual learning mode right now. In Harford County, officials express concern about moving too fast. This particular virus has very clearly shown us that, you know, any efforts we choose to pick the right time to come back. We believe we have the ability to be flexible and move back in more in person if the metrics get where they need to go. Experts have said there's been little to zero COVID-19 transmission in the classroom, but there are many teachers' unions that are still very concerned. Live at 5:30, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.